It's estimated that over 40% of British households own a dog. With around 340 breeds recognised in the world today, there are endless options for wishful dog owners, from pedigree Labradors and Spaniels to the more recently developed crossbreeds, such as Cockapoos and Labradoodles. Join us for the next six weeks as we delve into the world of man's best friend. In this week's episode, we focus on those less fortunate dogs, abandoned or mistreated and the work that rescue homes do to help turn their lives around. Despite endless campaigning from organisations such as Blue Cross and Dogs Trust, the number of dogs abandoned throughout the UK is constantly rising and the number of rescue dogs being euthanised is at an all-time high. Approximately 53,263 animals were rehomed from shelters last year. One organisation that works extremely hard to find homes for abandoned dogs is Sunnyside Rescue Centre in Wolverhampton. We travelled to the home to meet with some of their residents and to chat to manager Alana Warner who gave us an insight into the rehoming process. Right, so our process is that they come in, take a look round and if they see a dog that they like they have the option to take that dog on a walk if it is available for rehoming. Then as I said the dog has to meet everyone in the family. That includes all other dogs, that is an absolute must, um, cats and birds. But obviously we can't insist that they bring in their cats and birds, that's up to them. But in terms of the dog, they have to bring that other dog in to make sure that they interact okay. Um, once they've met everybody they're going to live with, they can place a deposit which is £10. The dog will then go to the vet for what we call a full MOT um, and they get all their checks there and we then go to the home of the customer and check their house to make sure it's okay. We check that the wall is over four foot so the dog can't jump it, that there's no holes and that the dog will be safe in that environment. Remy is an example of a dog Sunnyside was successfully able to rehome. Found abandoned with her mother and three other newly born cockapoo puppies after their previous owner found it too hard to deal with the unexpected litter, Alana and her team worked closely with the dogs and were able to rehome both the mother and the four puppies. <laughs> We spoke to Remy's adopted owner, Taylor Youngs, who explained how lucky they were to have found such a young and healthy dog at a rescue centre. It's not very often puppies are available for rehoming, especially a breed like Remy's, who is considered desirable for potential breeders and owners. Taylor describes finding Remy as fate. The puppies had only been at the centre 48 hours before she went to find a new addition to her family. Unfortunately, not every dog is suitable for rehoming. While Sunnyside go to incredible efforts to try and rehabilitate these dogs who have shown signs of violent behaviour or simply do not fit well into new homes, for some their tragic past means that they are just not able to be put up for adoption. On average, 21 rescue dogs are euthanised each day across the UK. <coughs> Most of the dogs here are worked with and we try and turn their behaviour around and obviously we hope to do that but there are some that we can't. With the euthanasia, we do have a euthanasia policy because obviously we can't keep dogs here forever. We have a vet that comes in four times a week to look at our ill dogs and obviously if that some are elderly and needs to be put down, they will um, do that. But as I say, our main sort of aim here is to rehome these dogs and reunite them with an owner. So rehab is part of what we do here. 